Welcome to our first lesson on Python Turtle. In this lesson, we're going to introduce our, our integrated development environment where we're going to program. We're going to have a look at a really basic Python code and just understand some of the syntax around it. So you can see here I've opened up Thony. Um, Thony is our, is our development environment. That's where we're going to actually code, though Thony isn't the language we're using. We are programming Python. Um, Python essentially is programmed in text files which are called scripts and you can use any text editor to actually Pyth um, program Python. Um, an integrated development environment like Thony has additional features like highlighting different syntax in different colors um, and letting you trace and do um, debugging which we'll deal with later on. So just think this is a text editor with a lot more extra features built in. The user interface yours might look, look slightly different, we'll change around to work on that. But to start off with, you can see over here, this is where we actually type our code in this little space here. This is the code editor here. And this is the particular script we have open at the moment, which is just an untitled, unsaved um, file, which is here that we haven't used. Down the bottom, we have the terminal um, or the shell. So this is where your text out by, um, output will be going. Um, down the bottom here. Over here is the assistant. Now yours may be turned off or may not be turned on. So to um, view your assistant is to, you can turn it on and off with the view here. And you can see with the assistant, there is, um, what it will do will help you with your actual coding because Thony is designed primarily for education purposes. So it's to help you learn how to use Python. Um, also the way that my Python, my Thony looks might be slightly different. Like um, when I type my first line in here, you can see that it is red. If you type yours in, it'll probably won't be red, it'll be a different color because I've changed my theme um, or my text theme. So to do that, you just go to tools and you go options and then you say your um, th um, theme and font and then choose ideally classic, which makes it look the same as mine. So you can see all the highlighting that I got in here, which has different meanings for different words. It will help you follow what I'm actually doing on my computer. So it lines up color wise. So let's go and start our first program, which is here and it says our first program. So um, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna make a really simple little program called print Hello world, because this is the traditional way that um, we kind of write your very first program. Now, let's remember the concept of prim that we are using. So when we're talking about actually using um, code, the idea is before we actually run the code is that we try to predict. Um, as we, uh, we, without running the code, have a guess at what we think the actual code is going to do. We're then going to run it and then see whether our prediction is correct. And we'll do that in every single time we go through some code. Investigating, we can take a closer look and see if we change things. What happens if we change values around or change characters around? And we'll actually do that. You can modify your code so it does something different. And then finally, you can apply your knowledge that you developed from that code to make something different. So, what are we doing here? Print hello world. I'm going to run it and it's going to ask me to save it. Now, I've made a um, folder called Python Turtle on my desktop, though your folder Python Turtle should be in your year seven digital solutions folder. Um, so here we come down and in my Python Turtle folder, I'm going to give this a name. And this is my lesson one, um, tut one. Yeah, tut one. And now I could dot put dot .py at the end, which will tell it that this is a Python script, but Thony will automatically add that at the end to let it know that this is a Python script. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to run and then down the bottom is actually done. So is that actually what you predicted was actually happened? That you think that it was going to say hello world down there. Um, and interesting, it says hello world and that's a couple of things to observe. Let's see. First off, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything with this. Okay, there's no kind of effect there. You know, I can actually change this around and I run it again and it makes no difference. Okay. Now, why is that? Well, up here, you see this little hash at the beginning. This tells um, Python that this is a comment. I, it is designed for humans. 
It is designed to explain things to humans, to make notes to people. Um, we'll be using that extensively throughout our programming here on how we actually um, put information into our code which, which the computer ignores. So that's our little first little thing, is a little hashtag that gives us comments. Now down here, what have we got here? We've got purple, which is a command word, print. It says print, it basically says send it to terminal, whatever's in these brackets here. So if I remove that, if I said um, pin or print or print, you'll see that, okay, wait a second, that isn't purple, so it gives me a hint that it's not right. And if I try to run it, it's going to come up with an error. See, traceback error. It tells me what line it's in. It's in this file, which is my tute, um, lesson one, tute one. Radio line three in module. So line three is one, two, three. It's this line here. And it says name P R I T is not defined. So it doesn't know what that is. So that's cool. So I know the problem is this. So I'm going to change that and go N. And let's run it again. Okay, it's happy. So let's see what else can I change in this investigation here. What happens if I get rid of, um, let's see, let's get rid of these. What does that do? Get rid of the, the, the quotation marks. So print hello world, I want it to do this, say hello world, and run, and it comes up with an error. Um, look at this, invalid syntax, um, perhaps you forgot a comma, and you'll learn why it says it later on. But look at this, it actually points where all the errors are. The error is along here, along this part here. So I'm gonna put those inverted commas back. And see how this is green? This tells it that this is a string or a list of characters. So things inside inverted, um, in, uh, inverted commas, and they can be double inverted commas or they can be single inverted commas. Things inside inverted commas basically saying, this is just a whole bunch of, of characters. It's words, it's sentences, it can be even numbers in there. But it says just, just put up this up as the way it is. Print this out the way it is, and that's called a string. So what about if I get rid of one of these brackets, or get rid of both those brackets? Do they need to be there? Let's just try that. Yeah, meaning missing parentheses to call print. Did you mean to say print? Cool, it tells us that. Rightio. So, let's see, what's the last thing? Actually, look at this. If I have an open bracket there, so if I get rid of the closed bracket and I run it, Again, it tells me, oh, error there, the opening bracket, this opening bracket was never closed. And it also finally gives you that hint there because it says, look, this gray bar says you have a bracket that you haven't closed. It does the same with the inverted commas. It says you have an inverted comma, anything you type afterwards, if you haven't closed it, it's gonna be in that green highlight. Rightio, so there we are. That is our basic um, code here. Let's have a look at the side of here. The assistant basically says that oh, the code looks good. And if there was some problems, if it was a bit a bit off, the assistant would give you some hints of how to fix it up. So what I wanted you to do is I want you just to now make yourself a really quick, just adjust it a couple of times and make it say different things. And then I will see you in our next tutorial.